Hey there guys, how's it going? I get asked about this a lot, and I'm gonna show my master chain. All the plugins I use on the master chain are Reaper stock plugins, with the exception of one that's optional at the end. So first of all, you need a mix, a mix that sounds good. Here's the mix I've got. Here's a quick clip of it without anything on the master bus. And now here it is with my master chain on. So it'll be a lot louder. So turn your volume down a bit. As you can hear, it's a big difference. And I'll jump into what I'm using. First of all, I've got the Coco's Re-EQ. This is just to clean up some frequencies I don't like and to tone shape a little bit. I've got a high pass to 25 Hertz. This is just to get rid of some low ends that you just don't need. Uh, you'll see a lot of mastering engineers, they'll high pass or they'll low shelf to about 20 Hertz, maybe even 30 Hertz. You can't really hear these frequencies below about 20 but your plugins can hear them and you might as well get rid of them and keep that mix as tight as you can. Got a little dip at 200 just to get rid of some rumbliness that I didn't like. And I've got this sort of broad little scoop at about 500 just to get me towards more of a hi-fi sound. Next, I've got the JS Exciter and this is like a harmonic exciter and it's boosting the high frequencies above about 2K. It's, it's not the same as like a high shelf on an EQ. It just sounds better. It's basically kind of like a very nice distortion and on the high frequencies it sounds great and I really like it and it gets me towards that hi-fi sound that I like. Next is the Rex Comp. It's a multiband compressor. I use the super solid bass nice opto mids preset. This boosts the low end quite a bit and controls the low end quite a bit as well. So you get this really nice powerful controlled punchy low end that I really like. Next, I've got the JS Stereo Enhancer. This is just turning the volume of the sides up and it leaves the middle alone. And I've just got it, I've just got the width high at 108. The default is 100, so you know I'm only boosting it a little bit. Next is the JS Digital Versatile Compressor. Now, I was using this as like a bus style compression, but honestly, for the past, what, two years, it's doing nothing. All it's doing is boosting a bit of level, as you can see here. So you're probably thinking, I don't need this. I can just boost the level from the, you know, from the Rex comp. But uh, I don't know. It's been there forever and I don't feel like getting rid of it. So there it is. Next is the JS Event Horizon Limiter Clipper. I love this thing. It sounds great. It's like a brick wall maximizing limiter. Set your ceiling and then bring your threshold down and the volume will get louder. The volume, volume of your track will get louder. I mean, I've got this at minus 10.3. That's because my mix is sort of maxing out around minus 10. You know, it is very quiet compared to a lot of other people's mixes. That's just how it is. And next I've got the JS Master Limiter. So I'm using a limiter on top of a limiter. And uh, this just gives me this really nice, subtle pumping you know, on some of the snare hits, it'll just smack those down a little bit, giving the mix a nice radio-ready type of sound. And on the end is one of the main differences you've heard recently. It's Mojo by Air Windows. This thing is basically boosting level and maximizing the music that little bit more. You know, some people put a saturator on the end of their chain to boost that little bit more level and just get it that little bit louder. But I found Mojo and this thing's really cool. Uh, the default setting is a little bit too loud, so I brought it down to minus 1.7-ish. And what this thing's doing, it's described as a loudinator. It just brings everything forward that little bit more. And it just gives my tracks that extra little bit 
of energy that I want. And that's about it, guys. I'm just going to select a section of the song and I'll just turn on and off bits of the master chain so you can hear what they're doing. I'm just going to play it again and then turn them on. So remember guys, this is just a guideline. You know, you don't have to do any of this stuff. If you don't like any of these, turn them on and off. Do whatever fits your mix. The way I check whether my master chain is doing what it's supposed to be doing, making sure that whatever I'm putting through it is the right level, is I check this reduction on the JS master limiter. I go to that and I check what this is doing. And this sh should be reducing just between about one, maybe two dB. If you watch it, You can see it's just reducing about 1 dB and that's all I want. Any more than that and it will crush the mix and it will destroy the dynamics of the song. What I do is top down mixing. I'll load up my master track chain and I'll mix through it. And I'll check that reduction meter is reducing between about 1 and 2 dB. If it's not moving at all, I know I need to bring the level of everything up. If it's moving way too much and it's reducing more than 2 dB, I'll bring the volume of everything down. I'm going to leave a link below to this chain file that you can load into Reaper, you know, the add effects chain. Just click on that and add the file in and it should load as it is now. The only plugin that you'd need to download and it is completely free to direct download from the site is Mojo by Air Windows. I'll leave a link to that as well. One last thing, I hear a lot of people and I see a lot of videos out there saying, this is how the pros do it and this is the right way to do it. If you're doing it this way, you're doing it right. Doing it this way, it's wrong. Which I think is kind of bogus because I see a lot of mastering videos and every single one has a different approach. No one is using exactly the same stuff. Only take advice off the people whose mixes you really like. Make sure you listen to what their results are because that's what matters in the end. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you've got any questions, just feel free to ask down below. All right, guys, since you've made it this far, I just want to plug the new album from my side project. Nest of Scum 2, Return of the Revenge. It's a heavy dose of death, grind, slam, groove, whatever metal, and it's totally free to download. Links below. And as always, there's the link to my main project below also. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more metal-related stuff. I'll be back sometime with a video on something else. So until then, ciao.